Aloha, everyone. How are you? March is Women's History Month, commemorating and encouraging the study, observance, and celebration of the vital role of women in American history. Welcome to Sister Power. I'm Sharon Thomas Yarbrough. Our topic today is Tao Calligraphy, Art Beyond Art. Art is a tool to communicate feeling and energy between the artist and the viewer. Positive messages in the art can have tremendous transformational effects on viewers of the art. This afternoon, we have two fabulous Sister Power guests. <laughs> Orlena Wong is a certified direct soul communicator, a certified Tao hands practitioner, a certified Tao calligraphy master practitioner and teacher, and one of the leading teachers in Hawaii for the Tao Academy. Diane Fujio's greatest joy uh -huh. comes from serving. She was uh -huh. honored to be one of the founding members of Master Shaw's first center in Honolulu, Hawaii, and continues to support is growth and expansion. Oh. Welcome, ladies, to oh. Sister Hello. Oh. Thank you. Oh. It's an honor to be here. Oh, thank you. We're pleasure. delighted. We're so delighted. We're so joyed. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for coming. And, you know, Diane, when we first met, you know, it's like I've known you for a lifetime. <laughs> we, we met at the Royal Tea Service yes, yes. In, uh, a month or so ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that you said when you stood up, every all the ladies had a chance to talk <laughs> about themselves. And you said, I love all of you. And that just came so genuine and from your heart. And I want to thank you for yeah. just bridging that gap between us all. Yeah. So we're here to talk yeah. about uh, calligraphy, mm. which only, what I know about calligraphy, I know um, essentially there are three yeah. forms of calligraphy. Yeah. There's the Western, the Arabic, mm -hmm. and there is the Oriental. Yeah. So let's talk about calligraphy. First of all, who wants to explain and talk about calligraphy? I love calligraphy, <laughs> but I really must let Orlana talk about She is actually a certified calligraphy teacher mm -hmm. and a master calligraphy. And I needed you two months ago. I was looking for a calligrapher. You know, there's, <laughs> you can't find them. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Sharon, for the great opportunity to share a little on Tao calligraphy and the power, the significance of why it's so special. So let me just give you a little bit of an um, introduction. So Tao calligraphy is actually um, an art that was only in the last Chinese uh, Qing dynasty um, was only taught to the royal families. It was a very sacred art form, and the teacher at that time had taught Professor Li, which then became the teacher of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. So she had only passed on to one person who was the teacher, Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha because her heart was so touched by his great will to serve humanity. Through his love, through his compassion, through his humanitarian work, she was so inspired at that moment that she at that time said she would never reveal the secret of this most sacred ancient art form of Tao calligraphy. But his work touched her heart so much, and so she passed on this tradition to teacher, Master Sha, which is now, um, taking Tao calligraphy and helping humanity and the earth to become more uplifted through the positive messages mm. of love. So here we have displayed on this calligraphy is greatest love because love melts all blockages, mm. transforms all aspects of life, including one's health, one's relationships, one's finances, intelligence, every aspect of our life needs love. And so through the positive messages that he creates through the Tao calligraphy art, it has the power to uplift the human consciousness and the spirit so that the heart, mind, and body can receive the greatest benefits and greatest transformation for one's life. And so this beautiful art that he's now sharing around the world, so he's, he, he's taught this um, calligraphy now. I've been a student, 
with calligraphy for about four years now, and he has students, you mean in Europe, in Australia, in Canada, in all the different backgrounds, different cultures are now learning how to become Tao calligraphy messengers or practitioners so that we can carry these positive messages and bring this love and this light to all beings. So it's just been a wonderful way that I've been empowered to serve. Actually, Diane is also one of the students, and she's absolutely a phenomenal student as well. Her dedication and um, her love, her sincerity when she creates calligraphies, absolutely fabulous. And to see the transformation in Diane and how I've seen through all the students where they started in the beginning and then over just the course of time, how I've seen the evolution of their writing transform, how their life began to transform, their relationships more harmony, their business career, things begin to really evolve because the calligraphy is helping us to remove our blockages. And I can give you a concrete example. Oh, I just love, I mean, I was just in awe of the <laughs> beautiful form that you were creating in words. Go ahead, So Diane. when Master Shaw first taught calligraphy, we went to Toronto. And that was in June, four years ago, as Orlena mentioned. And I had recently become a widow. My husband passed in mm. February of that year. So I went to this calligraphy workshop, his first ever, in, in June. So, you know, just a few months. And as a widow, I could not accept. I suppressed everything. I was numb. Yes. Mm. But when I went to the calligraphy workshop, I could barely write. I could barely concentrate on anything. But being with the calligraphy, because it has a positive message. And we were learning at that time the word Tao. Tao is the way of all life. Everything exists in the Tao. The good, the bad, the happy, the sad. And it brings you into balance. So one word, Tao, yeah. and that's all I did was trace it. I could not even write it because I didn't have the focus mm -hmm. as a recent widow. And just by attending that calligraphy workshop, the hole in my heart that I didn't want to feel started to open. My heart oh. started to open, and I could slowly feel the feelings come back and the positivity in my life. That is the power of Calligraphy. This is a very special calligraphy. It's a healing calligraphy. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us a little bit about Tao Academy or Tao Healing Center. Oh, the Tao Academy is a wonderful academy where we were certified as teachers. So there's many different certification courses that you can take. Um, so depending on your interest, they have certifications for song, for dance, if this is your field, for calligraphy, for learning um, beautiful um, writing. Uh, also for soul communication, for opening spiritual channels. So there's many different programs that you can join um, according to your interest or your hobbies or your passion. And Academy offers a range of these courses that you can participate in. Well, that's wonderful. Well, I'm excited <laughs> because I received an invitation. Yes. Uh, you know, you are invited to a Dow Calligraphy mm -hmm. exhibition and demonstration yes. with Dr. and Master Z Gong Chow. Yes. Diane, tell me about this. It's coming up soon. You know, because we were talking about the art, a picture is worth a thousand uh, words. So let's let's see the video. Okay. This is the oh. perfect time to see the video, okay. and then people on the viewers can experience it. All themselves. right. Let's watch the video. Oh. Love that. So maybe you need to tell us a little bit about what's going on. It seems like we can't hear the sound. Okay, so Dr. and Master Ji Gang Sha, he is um, trained in many ancient disciplines, including, as you saw, Tai Chi here, Qi Gong, uh, Feng Shui, Yi Ching. And he's not only trained in um, TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, he's also a doctor of Western medicine. Um, but he also was a very powerful acupuncture doctor. Ooh. And one of the techniques that he had was he was able to help people regain their hearing ability through a very long technique of this very long needle. And he had this very technique that could help people to regain hearing. But through the power of all of the modalities that he was trained there, there he's now taking all that he has learned and bridging all of that with the Tao calligraphy healing art beyond art. As you're seeing in these masterpieces, 
They all carry positive information and transformations for one's life. And it can really, again, help us, as I shared, to clear through our own stuff, our own blockages that are no longer serving us in our life. Maybe we have negative mindsets on something, or maybe we have, you know, bad attitude or something. But it's really helping us to carry more positivity into our life so that we can then become a better servant. Because really, this is really what the purpose of our life is. He shares that in one sentence, the purpose of life is to make others happy and healthy. Oh, well, well, tell us the date. <laughs> That's just beautiful. Oh, Diane, let's so, talk about the location, okay. the date, the time. Four seasons. Do I need to <laughs> say oh, four, my four, four seasons? Four Hello. seasons. <laughs> And it's March 16th. We have a yeah. session from 10 to 12. Mm -hmm. Then March 17th, Sunday. You know, people have a free day on Sunday from 10 to 12 and from 5 to 7. And we really want everyone to come because until you experience this very special style, it's called one line writing, you won't know. It's more than mm -hmm. just calligraphy. It actually is writing the message. You're writing the message within you. This one happens to be the greatest love. Who doesn't need more love? Love, 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 yeah. love, yes. love. It's such a beautiful word. Now, do we need to bring our own tools? I know there's certain type of tools that you need. Or um, yes. Tell us a little it's bit a about that. It's a calligraphy demonstration. Okay. So you'll get to see the writing, the actual creation of calligraphy, and then you'll get to view all of the calligraphy that Master Shah has already created for us. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is just fabulous. So... Very quickly, I mean, there's so much to talk about, about <laughs> Dial Academy and the mm. healing and the word love. It's just such a feel-good yeah. word, love. How do we register? So you can call our center, 808-988-8098. Mm -hmm. All right. So and to register, you say drshaw.com, Dial Calligraphy Exhibit. Yes. And all registration fees from this exhibit, tell me about Goes that. Goes to Malama mm -hmm. Learning Center. It's a center in, that serves our west side in Wainai mm -hmm. and Kapolei. And these are for our kids and our future. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Well, when we come back, we'll talk more about Dow Calligraphy <laughs> Art Beyond Art. Yes. Thank you. Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, inviting you to join us every Tuesday here on Pinoy Power Hawaii with Think Tech Hawaii. We come to your home at 12 noon every Tuesday. We invite you to uh, listen, watch uh, for our mission of empowerment. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Again, maraming salamat po. Mabuhay and aloha. Aloha. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock live from Think Tech Hawaii. And on our show, we talk about taking your health back. And what does that mean? It means mind, body, and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means. Let's take healthy back. Aloha. Welcome back to Sister Power. We're celebrating Women's History Month with my two lovely guests, Orlena <laughs> Wong and Diane Fujio. And our topic for today is Dao mm -hmm. Calligraphy, oh. Art Beyond Art. And this is exciting because you are having a Master Shard Dao Center Grand Opening. Let's hear about that. <laughs> it's a celebration. <laughs> the Dao Center was originally started, we went way back seven years ago mm -hmm. that we started the center, my partner and I started the center, and it's grown where we have a lot mm -hmm. more students. So we've outgrown our center. How many students? Oh, hundreds. We have every island, hundreds mm -hmm. of students, hundreds because every island we have students. Yes, but we have about a base of about 200 very active students. And then we have our students that come and go depending on what you know, their interests are and what we have to offer them. Because our center is not just a, a place where you can learn to be a mm -hmm. healer, a calligrapher, a soul communicator, a song and dance person. It is also a place where we serve others. People can come to our center to mm -hmm. receive healing. 
transformation in their lives. And many do. Oh, that's many wonderful. Do. The Greatest Love. I'm looking at oh. this beautiful <laughs> book. Greatest Love is just gorgeous. Heart and Soul series. Mm -hmm. We actually brought that yes. book for you because you are <laughs> a love the messenger. The we want to see yes. it. So as you can you see, are the message love is the messenger. same. Oh. Greatest Love, as we see in the calligraphy behind us. Okay, explain us There's about that. Also, well, I... the calligraphy of Greatest Love in the book that you can also use. They say um, there's 30 minute practices that you can do to unblock any aspect of your life. So let's say you have a relationship challenge. I mean, who doesn't have one relationship that causes them a little stress in their life? You can use some of these very simple practices, very easy to do. Um, turning to the calligraphy, you can ask the calligraphy as you trace calligraphy and you can use some sound power, greatest love to help you to remove the blockage in that relationship that is causing some stress or despair or anxiety and many people around the world have shared such heart touching amazing stories of how the power of Tao calligraphy is helping one to maintain great health and wellness and happiness and you know it's interesting that you turn to this chapter on page 52 and thank you for this gift <laughs> yes. and it says health Self-healing for anger. Yeah. And right now in our mm -hmm. world today, oh, yes. Yes. We, yes. we have so much yes. anger yes. going yes. on. It is. So I think everyone who <laughs> yes. the show yes. needs to purchase <laughs> this <laughs> book. Thank you for my gift. It's a very, this is your gift. We're Thank so you delighted very to share much. that with you. Our little so, so tell us about this so, gorgeous piece yeah. behind oh, us. So this gorgeous piece, as you shared, Sharon, was created by Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha, and it is created in, in the power of one chi, one energy, one breath, where the Tao calligraphy artist never, ever lifts the brush off the paper. Through just the power of energy and flow as you're gathering from the highest source, that frequency and vibration comes through the calligraphy artist like a conduit and goes to the paper to create these beautiful positive messages, which creates um, great life transformational healing, rejuvenation, more harmony, more energy for one's life. So would you like to do a practice? Yes, okay, <laughs> absolutely. So, um, so we have shared that the power of Tao calligraphy, when you trace it, so let's say all of the people who are watching, you take your five fingers, and why do you want to take five fingers is because the five fingers represents the five um, elements in traditional Chinese medicine. What are the five elements? You have the wood element, the fire element, the metal element, the water element, and the earth element. When you put the five fingers together, this is a whole body healing and rejuvenation for your whole body, your organs, your systems, every part of your being becomes filled with the nourishment of greatest love, the frequency and vibration that can then radiate into your mm. own soul, heart, mind, and body. So let us, let us do a practice. All right, let's so do it. Put your five fingers together. All right. Okay, and I'm just gonna show you the pathways. They're very simple. Okay. So you're just gonna go up and you're gonna come down, down here and around and down. Wow. And that means great, right? right. And then this is the love, and you just follow the pathway because it's written in one stroke. The reason why we have challenges is because there's a misalignment between the soul, heart, mind, and body, and this is bringing us back to one. It is bringing us back to source. It is bringing us back to creation where there's no more blockages, oh. only the purity of love. And so this is the pathway. So. Maybe those oh. on the line maybe want to create an intention. So why don't we just take a moment? Maybe there's something in your life you want to create a more flourishing for. It could be your finances, maybe mm -hmm. your career. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you're looking for a job. Maybe it's a relationship. Health. You know, if you have body pain, aches or pains, just focus the love in that part of your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pick one area. It's one area that you would like to focus because love carries the message that can help us to unblock that challenge or that energetic blockage there. Okay, you got it? Got it. I'm All right. I'm going to trace got the it. book. 
Because You're going to trace the book? Okay. okay. And the viewers on the line will trace with me. So okay. we're just connect with greatest love, the five fingers. And we're going to use the sound power. Greatest love. What you chant is what you become. And we're going to become the power of greatest love for that intention that you have just requested for. All right. All right. So together. Greatest love. Greatest love. Greatest love. Greatest love. Greatest love. Greatest love. of your request and the more you chant the more you receive the benefits so we just did two minutes here you know the show is not too long it's but no, you can do not. 15 over, minutes <laughs> i think you motown will be calling us <laughs> <laughs> so, i had no idea what i'm singing with you two lovely yes. ladies yes it was so, so much fun and so easy Love is it's healing. Yes, and I yes. just think if more people, right, embrace. I think that more people do not tell each other how much they love. I didn't mm -hmm. say I'm in love with you. I just love something about you. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, yes. I just love how you speak. I love how you smile. I love how you cook. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow. The appreciation and the gratitude goes a long way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And when it's unconditional love, yes. you love someone you don't like. Uh oh! Yes, mm -hmm. it works. It yes. works. It works. It love works. someone you don't like. I had relationship mm -hmm. issues, and I just give love. Oh. I just give love. Mm -hmm. And I think that's forgiving too. Yes. It's forgiving yes. of yourself. Oh, and yeah. forgiving it's of the, the other person. side Absolutely. of forgiveness. Love sure. and forgiveness go mm -hmm. hand in hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, let's go over everything that we've talked about <laughs> okay. because Dow calligraphy. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the date on that. Okay, March sixteenth. At the Four Seasons from 10 to 12, and then March 17th at the Four Seasons from 10 to 12, and from 5 to 7. And I hope you can put up that uh, invitation. Okay, so you maybe Richard they can put show the invitation it. up <laughs> and it has the information that. on sure. it. Sure, so, we'll yes. get that up in, in momentarily. And the information about the um, Dow Calligraphy exhibition and mm -hmm. demonstration. And then while that's coming up, we can talk about the grand opening. Yes, absolutely. We're very excited. Right here in the heart of Kaka'ako, yeah. right off of Queen Street, we are having our grand opening because we just added an additional 5,000 square footage of meditation space so that people can come. and 5,000? Yeah, 5,000 additional more square mm -hmm. footage into the existing center. So now we have a beautiful ground floor. There's lots of free parking downstairs. And we welcome everyone to come and join who's just looking for you know, so many stresses in everyday life. Mm. You know, sometimes we have a lot of worry. We cannot sleep. We have anxiety, anger, depression, sadness. People come to yeah. these centers to re really receive rejuvenation, to find peace again in their heart. In a world that is so challenging, so busy, so chaotic, so many things that we have to do from the moment we wake up to the time we fall asleep. There's just so much going on. But do you... If we can just find that, you know, as the share, the truth lives within each of us. We must heal ourselves first. And then that's when we'll be able to offer the greatest service to our family, 
our loved ones, our colleagues, our community, and our whole country. It starts with us. So it's feeling the love, embodying the love, so that we can share this love with everyone. Well, thank you so much, ladies. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing the love. I appreciate you for coming in. And if they want to know more about the uh, Dow Calligraphy, they can contact Sisters in Park of IE, oh, and I'll yeah. be sending oh, that out. Great. You. So not a problem. Thank you, thank well, you. There it is right there oh, on the oh, screen. Great. Right there, and thank you, Rich. In closing, a reminder that March is National Women's History Month. I've met many remarkable women in Hawaii who have made such a difference to people's lives. I hope to continue to be the voice that says women must not be overlooked and undervalued. By the way, April 10th, Sisters in Park Hawaii and Kicha King will be hosting a Shangri-La guided tour. Deadline to register is Sunday, March 10th, but they have extended it for us for March 13th. And so please email Sisters in Park Hawaii mm -hmm. at gmail.com. We only have a few seats left. And from all of us at Sister Power, thank you for spending part of your day with us. Every other Thursday, I'm Sharon Thomas Yarbrough.